I am not a Viking. You are not a Viking. All those great bands in the neo-folk scene, such as Wadruna and Heilung and all the others I totally love, are not Vikings. Even the majority of people back in the centuries of the Viking raids were not Vikings. Even most of the Nordic people who settled in Britain and Ireland were not Vikings. Most of them just came as settlers. Vikings were a particular minority who came raiding and pillaging, but that of course is not the whole story. Everybody fell in love with the Vikings TV series and with the Last Kingdom series. And the Last Kingdom was slightly different in that you saw some things from the Anglo-Saxon perspective. But there's thousands of artists out there doing songs about going raiding and there's loads of playlists on Spotify and YouTube and so on. And I love it all, don't get me wrong. So when we started making music that kind of dipped into that history and that culture, I maybe felt slightly dishonest in that I'm not of Scandinavian background. So I didn't want to write tracks that are about, oh, how great it is to go a Viking and to go raiding. And I think watching The Last Kingdom just gave me the idea for maybe writing a track that looked at these things just from a slightly different perspective. So I imagined a scenario where a Viking raiding party landed, where they had been coming before, so they had this reputation. But on this occasion, a bunch of Anglo-Saxons fought back and won the day. Track was released in the middle of 2021. It's called The Saxon Shore, and it's a rare thing for us in that it's a vocal track. Not singing. I don't really have a singer to work with. So on this occasion, it's kind of a spoken word thing. So let's have a look at the lyrics. One device that's used quite often in Norse and Saxon poetry, and I had been reading some, is a thing called a kenning, which means there's a particular poetic turn of phrase that refers to something in the real world. So the track starts, raiders came from the sea, from the whale's path. And there's a kenning, whale's path is a Saxon term for the sea. Reavers, destroyers, defilers of the sacred. At the time of the Viking raids, Saxons were probably mostly Christianized by then. The period of, of the Saxon history in what became England covers two, three, four hundred years. At the beginning, totally pagan. At the end, totally Christian. In the middle, probably a bit of a mix. So the reference to defilers of the sacred. I'm kind of imagining that this is at the Christian end of things. So the Viking raiders are coming to sack monasteries and steal gold and so on. So the next lines are seeking silver, gold and blood. Acknowledging that, I'm sure some of the guys just came because they wanted a, a ruck. They wanted a fight. They wanted to kill some people. Then refer to the ships arriving. Red sailed dragons glide. Viking ships are known as drakkar, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, dragon ships. And they would have the removable dragon's heads that they could put on the bow or the stern. Red sails, dragons glide from the seal's bath to the golden strand. So seal's bath is another Saxon term for the sea. I then get into a little section where, just talk about the weaponry and the, and the, and the warfare. Goose-fletched arrows flew, mail piercing, thrusting spears. Another misconception about warfare in that period, and incidentally also in other parts of the world, Japan, for example, everybody thinks it was swords. Scandinavia, everybody thinks it was axes. The reality is in the majority of medieval and pre-medieval warfare, the weapon that actually did most of the fighting was spears. Male piercing, thrusting spears, Bearded berserkers bearing bearded axes. A little reference there to one of the particular shapes of Norse axes. Shield shattering, skull cleaving, death bringing, doom delivering. 
So, so far, just painting a picture of a typical Viking raid. And the next bit is, this time we met them. And there's a few lines which just paint a picture of, of the battle starting. Shield to shield, spear to spear, axe to axe, blow for blow, cut for cut, blood for blood, without remorse. Then comes a section where the narrator is talking about the outcome, the victory. We made widows, created orphans, sent dark souls to hell or Valhalla. So hell there is spelt H-E-L. It's not the Christian hell. It's one of the places of the dead in Norse religion and Norse mythology. Helheim, ruled over by the goddess Hel. Or Valhalla which is where those who died in battle might be taken. And interestingly, the idea of the Valkyries who come down and take the glorious dead to Valhalla is quite a late development. In the, in the very early Norse mythologies, the Valkyries were much less glorious warrior maidens coming down to take every brave warrior to, to Valhalla. And they were a lot sketchier. And it was a lot more vague as to quite what was going on there. And then as the religious ideas developed over the centuries, uh, the version that most people hold to now or express all the songs and poetry and TV programmes about is this beautiful maidens coming to take you to feast forever in, in Valhalla with Odin and you spend your days fighting and your evenings drinking. Next lines, severed heads and hewed Norse limbs washed their boots in Nordic blood. Shields were riven by our anger and anger drove our battle zeal. So this is Saxons who are fed up of being raided by these Norsemen. Then we get to the final result of the battle. Long ships burned, oars lay broken, ashes on the ebbing tide. Vikings fed the crabs and crows, weapons fell to rot and rust. These Vikings did not go home. They died. They were left to rot there on the beach. And I'm sure there were probably hundreds, if not thousands, of small battles during those few centuries where sometimes the raiders won or the invaders and sometimes the Saxons fought them off. And if you did watch the Last Kingdom TV series or you've studied that period of history, you'll know that at various points, deals were done, battles were won on both sides, and kingdoms kind of settled in place that had predominantly Norse populations or predominantly Saxon populations. In the long run, they all merged to form this new kingdom called England. So a lot of these individual battles are not recorded anywhere. So the final verse of this piece of music says, This day may be forgotten, our fallen heroes unremembered, burial mounds flattened by relentless years, but the land remains, the Saxon shore. And then there's a big instrumental section to the end of a track. Now that term, the Saxon shore, is an interesting one. Mostly when you come across that, if you're reading history, it's a reference to Romano-British people defending primarily the southeast against the Saxons coming over from the Low Countries and Germany. But it can also be applied to a bit later historically where the population, which was probably mixed Saxons and British, were defending those shores against other Saxons and against the Norse. In the southeast in particular, the Norse invaders would have come predominantly from what is now Denmark and further north, Scotland and round to Ireland. It would have been Norse people from what is now Norway. So anyway... That's a little bit about the background and the lyrics of the track, The Saxon Shore. It was a track I was pleased with. It was just an attempt at doing something a little bit new for us. I think it worked. So I hope you found this little explanation interesting. So watch the video of The Saxon Shore. It's on all the usual streaming and download sites if you want to add it to your playlist, and I hope you do. And thank you for watching this. Reavers, destroyers, defilers of the sacred Seeking silver, gold and blood Red sail dragons glide From the seal's farm to the golden strand Goose-fledged arrows bloom Male-piercing, thrusting spears Bearded berserkers
lurkers bearing bearded axes, shield shattering, skull cleaving, death bringing, doom delivering. This time we met them. Shield to shield, spear to spear, axe to axe, blow for blow, sword for sword, cut or cut, blood for blood without remorse. Severed heads and mute Norse limbs Washed their boots in Nordic blood Shields were riven by our anger Anger drove our battle zeal Long ships burned, oars lay broken Ashes on the ebbing tide Vikings fed the crabs and crows Weapons fell to rot and rust This day may be forgotten, our fallen heroes unremembered, burial mounds flattened by relentless years, but the land remains. The Saxon shore. <laughs>